like I only date white women. You already know that. I don't know why you're asking that. Huh? You already know the answer, so I don't know why you're asking. Can anybody explain what that looks like? Like, how tall are you? 5'8". Where you grow up? Charlotte, North Carolina. Hold on, bro. I don't know if I'm tripping, but if I'm tripping and I'm being disrespectful, I'm sorry. But I feel as though some transformer activities going on. That's what it looks like. Is it the glasses or what is it? It might be the glasses. It's the glasses, the voice, the height. So short black men don't date black women? No, I just feel like you, your vibe is more inclined to white women than it is black. Yeah, it's over. I can respect that answer. Your vibe is more inclined to white woman than black. And the reason why I could respect that answer is because I do feel as though there's some black dudes that wouldn't survive in a relationship with a black woman. I personally don't care who dates who. You can't help who you fall in love with. If somebody tells you you look like you date white women as a black man, that means that you can't handle black women. So you took the easy way out and decide to go date other races. White women are known to be more easygoing. They are known to be more accepting of things, whether it's good or bad. I'm sending us to the police, you idiot. That's a female? Hold on, bro. You doing that to a female? I'm not gonna lie. You a put. You a put. You know what? Let, let's let's. Son. Oh, he got a charger. Ah! I already know what's going on. I already know what's going on. I'm gonna explain something to y'all. If you a Mopar owner, you have experienced this. For some strange reason, when people see charges and challenges, they start doing dumb shit. And I wouldn't be surprised if she did some dumb shit. Now, regardless of whatever it is she did, it is your job to control yourself. This is unacceptable. And to be honest with you, he looked like the type. I bet you if it was a man in that car, he would not have did that. Up and play Nintendo games. Where were the man that were there? Where the hunter that were there? Where the provider were there? You can't lead me. Oh, you can lead me. You can lead me in a wall. Give me a manly man. Come and stand your ground and be a firm man in my life. I make me listen to you. I make we come together if we come together and do things in life and take on this world. Me no want a shriveled back man. Me no want a man where one like same and another man. You have to provide. You have to provide financially, emotionally, all of the shally shally. And me if you help provide too with me shally shally too. I will come together. But no matter. As you can see the flag back there, I'm Grenadian. Hang around a lot of Caribbean people. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Jamaican women. Damn, y'all finna crucify me for this. Jamaican women, bro are probably the most toxic women in the Caribbean. I will say Jamaican first, Trinidadian second. And if we're thinking about it, Dominicans are Caribbean also. They're just a Spanish-speaking Caribbean country. Dominican women, I would give them a close third. But Jamaican women are very, very toxic. I want somebody to tell me I'm wrong. I've had grown people interactions with Jamaican women. I've had the pleasure of seeing the before and after of dealing with a Jamaican woman. You know how I be saying Hispanic women be leaving dudes with PTSD? Jamaican women be leaving dudes with PTSD also. They mad aggressive, they mouth foul as hell, they're never wrong. Even if you catch them in the act, they're still never wrong. Love to have one bagaman. They love to have one bagaman. Uh, with that being said though, what she's talking about is she wants a leader. Every woman wants a leader. Men should earn that level of leadership. You should put in that work to earn your woman being submissive to you. But at the same time, it's some ladies out here, they don't acknowledge the things that you're doing. They don't acknowledge the moves that you're making to put the both of y'all in a better position. I don't want to tell people's story too much, but I did have a homeboy who dated a Caribbean woman. She was Jamaican. She liked to party a lot, bro. And anytime he tried to put himself in a situation, she found a way to sabotage it. As requested, we have three fresh Carolina Reapers. 
And these are from Bohica. I still have about 21 of them left. But say less. Cheers. James, this what you be doing on your spare time? Huh? I'm sorry, y'all. This dude remind me of my coworker. I want to take a moment to remind everybody that this is all for fun. If you see anybody challenging me, regardless of who they are, just please be nice. That man whole vocal range changed just now. <laughs> Yo, his mouth was on fire. His mouth was on fire. You kept it together, my boy. Now, personally, I don't know why you would do some dumb shit like this. I'm good. However it felt going in, I don't want to imagine what it feels like coming out. Pause. I still notice a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. All right. Let's have hmm? Let's have some time. Where? You didn't even come here to come for me. You can't go drop off a package to someone else's house. Uh, I have time, that's I don't have time. Man, should I have time? And I'm about to go bathe my skin. Oh, you? I'm about to go bathe my skin. Oh. Yes. Uh, I like your... Let me move forward. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm just controlling myself again. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm about to go bathe, okay? For like five minutes? No. Like, oh. No. No. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I think uh, you, you want it. Like, Who I... wants what? You. No, no. <laughs> Come on, babe. Come on. No, 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 no. Seriously? No. I'm just going. Okay. Well. My thing is, why did you open the door? Them the type of dudes probably ain't never had no poom poom in his life. Probably sit behind his computer and choke the chicken all goddamn day. You might have came outside by accident. No, he might have seen you walking in your house and you resemble something that he been fantasizing about and now he trying to make that fantasy a reality. You don't got no game. Fellas, let this not be you. Don't be this thirsty. Understand when you going too far. If that was me, I drive for Amazon and it's a female on my route that I'm like, damn, she got the wagon. I'm gonna try to catch her outside. I'm not finna knock her door. I'm not about to do that because that shit is creepy. And then you you, you sounding crazy. You ain't even trying to get to know her. You trying to go to third base right away. You ain't even you ain't even coming at her with no, yo, I seen you the other day and you look so beautiful. I just want to know if I could take you out to dinner. You ain't even coming at her like that. Nigga, you coming at her like, I'm trying to come in the crib and spank them cheeks. Oh, you I like to get a head start with everything. Keep up with the work. Love you, man. Come on. Hey, boy. I know this is skit. Let me tell y'all something. You work with one of them type of niggas right here, Mr. Over and Beyond, you got to be careful. Are we offering overtime today? Who wants it? Oh, yeah. I'll take that. Y'all don't want that? You guys don't want overtime? No, I'm good. Oh, some more money for me then. Those guys don't do anything here. They just like sit around, eat candy and shit. You see the client over there on the left? He never does anything. I'm starting to see that. He just jack off time. You guys not gonna work? I know I'm stopping this bitch a lot, but let me tell y'all something, right? I've heard a story about a coworker. Man's had two phones. He called his other phone, left it in the room, and went someplace else to listen to hear if anybody was <laughs> talking about him. I don't know how true this story is, but I thought that shit was hilarious. See, it's where you're running this bitch. Man, you trying to do everything. Oh, my God. We got a lot of work in there that needs to be done. We don't have time for that. Cool. It's not break time. 
Bro, oh, why are you taking our picture, bro? Come on. I put a hundred percent into this job. You guys don't do jack shit. Okay, right back here. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Yep. Right there, motherfuckers. Hey, where you headed, Lamar? You got him. Let's get back to work. Y'all get everything documented. What? Hate niggas like this, bro. So what? They gonna get rolled up or? Yeah, we'll just I keep working so we can get a hairstyle for tomorrow. I ain't gonna lie, I used to do this. I used to work through my break. Love you, man. Love you. Uh, I used to work through my break. I'll step behind. You still working? Yeah, I'm clean up a little bit. You just did this shit too long. Well, that's fine, man. You know, one day I want to be CEO of this company one day, you know? I'm out of here. Manager. If I work hard enough, I can be right where you are. You want me to let you out? I'll let you out. You want me to let you out? The break part I understand because I used to work through my break. Sometimes my machine used to be jacked up. Instead of going to break, I used to make the necessary changes. But if you work with somebody like this, you have to be very careful. These type of people are snakes. They're basically CIs, confidential informants. Anything you do or say will make it to management. At my previous job, we had a lot of people like that. Anything that went on on the floor, somehow management knew about it. Management knew who was who was doing whatever they was doing outside of work and i just never understood that if you're like this i want you to understand something when you work at these jobs right you are a tool to make sure your supervisors and your managers get promoted you're a pawn you are a pawn if i work on the flow with you game it's us i don't snitch i don't believe in telling motherfuckers what another motherfucker say i don't believe in none of that dog i'm big on this book right here so a lot of times at work i act a lot dumber than I actually am. I love it when people get around me and they think I'm, I ain't gonna say slow, I don't act slow, but they don't think I'm as intelligent as them. So you just, you play the part. I would suggest, I'm not getting paid for suggesting this, pick this book up and read this book and you will learn a lot. What are things you do now that you feel like will make you a good wife? I don't know, I'm good at cleaning, I'm good at cooking, I work really hard. Um, I'm not about like the, okay, the man does everything, like I want to own, like, ev like my own, you know what I'm saying? And then like, I want to help her buy, if that makes sense. As a married man, I don't think you're able to judge whether you would be a good wife or a good husband until you get put in that situation. The reason I say that is things change. Once you get married, it seems as though responsibilities just change because you're no longer thinking about yourself as an individual. You're thinking about yourself as a collective. You know, you every decision you make, you got to make it for your family. On top of that, right? I'll hear women say, you know, I can cook, I can clean. I think we'll be missing. I don't hear a lot of women say this when they get asked this question. I would love to hear a woman say, you can come to me. Most men, we don't like to talk about our problems, especially talking about our problems to our women. We don't want to appear weak. And believe it or not, it's some women that feels like that. It's some women that don't have it in them to be there mentally for their man. I would love to hear a woman say that. You can come to me. That's what I want to hear. You can come to me. I'll listen.